Good morning, fellow travelers. It's just Jeremiah here. I keep saying just, I don't know, sorry. Cut. Good morning, fellow travelers. It's Jeremiah here in Colorado. I'm in a small town called Yampa. Don't call it Yampa, Yampa. Uh, it's basically a rancher town. It's south of Steamboat Springs, up in the mountains. There's like nothing around. It's pretty awesome. Check it out, I'm in the downtown. Seeing if I can go buy some uh, some groceries or some food, I'm hungry. But yeah, that's about it, good morning. Let's see where today brings us. Loving you. Yeah, you don't mind doing your turn? Downtown Yampa. So we were told that these are branding marks of the local ranches. So these are the different brands that identify which person's cow they are. So on the lamppost, they have them as part of like the local art. But if you look, there's that, what looks like an upside down, or a sideways L on a 30, a sideways B in a square. These are all the different ranches, brands that they put on their cattle so people know who's whose. And this is where they can identify whose cow's whose. Just go to town. No, they just see it. You know, that doesn't make sense. But still, downtown. Oak Creek, there's the post office. I don't feel like going right now. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> He's been waiting for this no, watch forever. Today. Yeah, today. I feel so bad. He's been so patient. Sorry, Dan. I love you. Here in downtown Steamboat Springs, we have the Yampa River. We said Yampa, and I said Yampa earlier. Definitely Yampa. They'll give you shit otherwise. If you look, there's a funeral right there. So that's a hot spring. That's probably hot water. I, I kind of, I'm kind of excited to check it out. Uh, we've got Hallie over there hiding behind a tree with her bicycle. You got this little watering hole everyone jumps into off this like two foot cliff. It's a two foot cliff. I bet the water's cold, I can't wait. I'm gonna get in. This is called Sea Hole. It's behind the library in Steamboat Springs. If you're ever coming through, come swimming. Not everything great costs money. For sure. Changing the Yampa. For hundreds of years before the first settler's arrival in the valley, the Yampa Tika Utes enjoyed the beauty and resources of the Yampa Valley for their summer hunting. In the early 1800s, Trappers began arriving, calling the, big, calling the area the Big Bend for its westward turn at this point in the valley. For thousands of years, the Yampa River meandered across the valley floor, flooding this very spot. With the construction of the railroad in 1909 on the river's south bank and the growth of Steamboat Springs on its north bank, the Yampa and its community experienced many changes. Protecting railroads, bridges, houses, and hotels was just as important to the early Steamboat Springs community as it is now. So riverbanks were armored with, with large boulders called riprap. Old cars, blocks of concrete, railroad ties, and whatever other debris could prevent erosion and infrastructure damage. The resulting channel became artificially confined and disconnected from its floodplain, triggering the loss of riparian habitat and natural channel migration. Conserving the land along the riparian corridor above and below town has helped mitigate the resulting impacts from development along the river's banks. Our community wouldn't be able to survive without the Yampa. We use the water for many different things, both in Steamboat, Steamboat Springs and in many other places along the river. Pretty cool. Hailstorm! I can't see but there's a rainbow. Wow, look at the streets. We are up in the Medicine Bow route 
National Forest above Steamboat, headed to a free campsite, and uh, we'd be going up like this type of road. I think the girls ride about 45 minutes, I know. It's probably been about 20 minutes. Maybe you're exaggerating. Maybe I'm exaggerating. <laughs> hey, do you want to talk about the, uh, the reservations? Um, hang on a second. You don't want to? Not so much. Oh. I want consent before you start videoing me. Okay. Do I have your consent to videotape you? <laughs> This is all being recorded. It's a good lesson for consent, you know, for the YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't quite ready. That's the beauty. Can I talk while you're filming the scene without my face? Oh, yeah. Sure. She's shy. It happens. All right, yeah. So, so what's the question? Somehow what I was saying related to that guy on the phone. Remember the guy on the, the hot spring phone? You're trying to make reservations at the hot spring. Yeah. I was going to ask you to tell that story, but I guess it's not that exciting. It's a good story, but I'm not in the mood to relive it right now. All right, cut. Cool. I think we're at like 9,500 feet up into the mountains. There's a nice fire pit. I can dig it out better. I'm sure there's going to be firewood. I see a downed pine tree. Breathing in too much pine smoke isn't great for you, but whatever. Good to be out of the car. Back in nature. Looks like firewood's gonna be easy. Let's go take a look at this view. Oh, hey, pretty bird. I think that was a goldfinch. My grandma's favorite bird. Pretty. Yep. I'm going to do a recap on the uh, Rando Gathering then. One second. Camp in progress. This guy's doing cool stuff. Yeah, I ran back earlier because I thought I dropped my dropped my wallet somewhere inopportune. Nice campsite. Allie, you wanna come up with me? It looks like it's a limited time frame. All right, back up the hill to check out the view. Cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, you got to get up here quick. It looks... Oh, shit. We're good. Wow. Oh my gosh. There's lightning and shit striking. Wow. I don't know if you guys saw that, but wow. I got to snap some photos. Cooking over an open fire. That's the best. Right now I'm cooking some asparagus with some herb butter and some lemon salmon afterwards. Yay. I like our site. Crazy thunderstorm. Beautiful. Cooking that salmon. Asparagus is done. Asparagus was awesome. So nice up here. 